G'day, welcome to today's session of Words of Life. And so I want to speak some words of life over your, your life and your situation and your being. My name is Joseph van Eden and I'm the founder of Unity with Heaven. I'm also the pastor of God Life Church here in Paris and I'm also an uh, associate pastor at Living Word Church. And so I always have an opportunity to pray for people and to speak life over them. And over the years, I've seen many, many miracles that the Lord has done in people's lives, given them financial breakthrough, given them um, healing for their bodies, has restored marriages uh, and, and brought people into the purpose that God has for them. And so today I want to see you whole and restored and prospering. And so Take a moment with me and just sit and then let the words of God flood over your being, over your spirit man, over your mind, over your soul. And I want you to see how fear dissipates and how you get more uh, and new strength and faith into your innermost being. Are you ready? Let's receive the words of life. Right, so Father, I come and I pray for everyone that's listening and Lord, we want to receive your word. And you said that, you know, we cannot just li live from food alone, but we need to live from every word that come from your mouth. And so, Lord, we want to receive your word now. And so the Lord is speaking to me and the Lord is saying that I'm bringing rest and restoration into your life and I see how many of you that's listening are you seated in that seat of rest of authority and how the Lord is putting a new garment upon you and the Lord says I love you and I'm putting my healing on you and just like the garment that was on Paul's body that came onto the sick and they were recovered so the Lord is putting a garment on your life and he is recovering even uh, in this day uh, the Lord is speaking to you and the Lord is saying that fear uh, has to die, uh, cut out fear, do not give fear a space in your life, um, but allow the life and the faith of God uh, to spring forth into your life. The Lord is saying, I'm opening up a new uh, opening in your heart for life to flow through. And even as you sit there, uh, listen to God allowing to open up to take that rocks that hurt, that disappointments out of your life and allow His uh, water, His fountain, His river to thrust out of your life and come forth and change things in your life. Uh, the, the Lord is speaking to me uh, about uh, you being entangled and I see uh, uh, a vine uh, growing up and this vine is, is, is growing far and big and reaching many feeding and touching and covering many many and I see how many of you are entangled in this vine who is Jesus and how this goes all over the world and so the Lord is loving the world the Lord is covering the world and the Lord is even using you to be part of this vine that is covering and that is loving and that is giving to this world uh, I see uh, money being deposited into your bank account I see finances coming into your life and that finances is not only to heal you from your uh, losses but is also to give you seeds that you can sow into the kingdom of God that you can build and establish the kingdom of God that you can fulfill the ministry call that you have on your life uh, I see about 12 mantles and they are prophetic mantles and they are almost flying and they coming and are sitting upon many of you I see the heavens open and I see the Holy Spirit come like a dove on many people's heads and, and, and like flames of fire and it's like a dove that looks like a fire a flame that's sitting on many of your heads and I want you to receive now that dove of the Holy Spirit that impartation that fire of God the Lord says revolution is coming uh, not only a reformation not only a uh, um, uh, a new revival but a revolution is coming in your minds and in your society and where you live and everything is about to change and so uh, uh, wait uh, Lord we wait on you and we entangle ourselves uh, with you Lord we become one with you 
And so now, even as you are there, uh, if you can pray in tongues, I want you to pray in tongues just a little bit. And so, Lord, uh, we always uh, we pray in tongues. We pray in the Spirit, and Lord, we allow the 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 Spirit of God, the life of God, to start to bubble forth. And so, the Lord is releasing on you a bubbling anointing. And even if you feel your stomach muscles like. Uh, 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 putting together like that uh, that's a picture of you going into labor to giving birth to give birth to that new thing that the Lord is releasing and so the Lord is releasing uh, um, new ministries uh, new businesses uh, even new Christian schools is being released new worship bands new songs from heaven is being released new men and women rising up in ministry rising up in business rising up in government and so even as you are there this uh, uh, allow uh, that burden of the Lord that labor of the Lord to come upon you so that you can give birth to the new things that God is doing. I hear a, a, a sound of a mighty rushing river and that river is just coming through your living room, is coming through uh, where your car is driving, that river is coming through in your bedroom where you are, are or maybe if you are um, you know, sitting somewhere or you, you're watching this video, I just see a river of God is just going through and all the old all the old religion old mindsets old systems is just being washed through and heaven is coming to earth heaven systems heaven strategies and and frameworks is coming into your life even today and so uh, uh sin is not even an issue the things that you did in the past is not a, even an issue even even unforgiveness that's in your life uh, the the love of god is just washing over you and this and i see how you you take um a rubbish and you're just throwing it away from you and it's like unforgiveness and grudges and and um a bitterness that you held in your life it's just i just see how many of you this is throwing it out of out of your life and your heart is just cleaning uh, at a rapid pace uh, i see a picture of how the lord is coming and he is removing your heart and he's putting in you a heart of gold a heart full of life a heart that's like red heart full of passion uh, and, and love for the lord and so lord thank you for new hearts that's even coming uh, into this place then i see many of you even as you're standing there there's crowns coming into you and revelation for the 24 elders they they throwing down their crown and then the lord give them a new crown even as they uh, are lifted up because when you humble yourself before the lord he will lift you up and so i see how many of you are humbling yourself before the lord and so lord we humble ourselves before you today and lord we take the crown and we put it uh, before you and lord we give our authority and our glory we give it to you and then uh, i see how the lord says now i'm giving you the crown of life revelation 2 verse 10 i will give you the crown of life and so lord we receive the crown of life right now and then i see many of you are starting to receive a river of life but uh you go on your knees and you're on your stomach and you and you start to drink from the river and i want you even where you are now just to start to drink from the river of god if you even if you could kneel down you can put your forehead on the ground like that and so, Lord, thank you that we can present ourselves as an offering to you. And, Lord, that we can start to drink. And I drink from your life. I receive your, your life into my innermost being, into my, your breath of life, your DNA. Lord, I dance with you. And, Lord, thank you for that fire of God that's just coming inside of me as I receive your breath of life. The Lord is saying new revelation and new uh, uh, mysteries and new technologies is being released right now from heaven and I see angels is going dispersing and they giving these technology and these mysteries and these revelations to many and even as you are there you say Lord this is an address where mysteries and revelation and technology can come and so you're receiving mysteries and revelation and technology and Lord we receive it even in this day and I see many of you growing and growing you know our tree can grow every year a little bit but then on a year where it rains a lot and there's a lot of uh, um uh, energy there and, and sunlight and the right conditions then the tree can uh, go very fast uh, in one year and i see how many of you over this next season is just growing really rapidly and fast and it's just suddenly blooming with flowers and having fruit and big branches with leaves and and you are able to handle that growth because of the life and the strength of god inside of you all right and so the lord is releasing the mystery of the kingdom to you and so this gospel of the kingdom 
kingdom will be preached to all nations. And so, uh, Lord, we receive that gospel of the kingdom. And Lord, thank you for the lordship of Jesus in our lives that we can hear his voice clearly. And I and I see uh, many of you having a phone call uh, from God and, and Jesus is calling you and he started to speak to you and he's releasing his voice. And you are a sheep of God. You are following him and you as a sheep can hear his voice and you follow of them I, I tell you many says the lord will not see death because of the amount of life that i'm pouring into their hearts and so lord we receive your life and we receive immortality and lord we receive uh, that ability to walk with you and to have a relationship and lord we cut off today the old the lord is cutting off the old even from your life the old things that happens trauma unforgiveness hurts uh, unrighteousness that, that really hurt your life. The Lord is cutting those off. He's bringing healing into your life. And you're moving forward into a new season of life. A season uh, of submission uh, to the Holy Spirit and walking with Him. And a, and a season uh, of, of standing under uh, the spiritual authority that God has set in your life. And uh, the, the next picture that the Lord shows me is of spiritual fathers that is even rising up in this season. And so if you are a, a man or a, a woman and therefore you can have life and you can have that life more abundantly than ever before. God bless you.